Hi guys, it's been a long time. We've been really busy uh, the past few weeks, you know, with work, real yeah. jobs. <laughs> Working, uh, part-time school, just life's been really busy, so we apologize for um, not updating our channel, so please forgive us. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to come back and um, do a video on BB creams, just for you guys. And these are um, special BB creams found in Asia. So Lena's going to tell you a little bit about history about BB creams and how they originated. So BB creams are like um, a cream that for, for medical use back then where people had scars, um, you use it to lighten up your scars and even out your tone. So people thought of this idea was like, wow, it's great, we can use it for makeup. So uh, Korea really loves the idea, so they used it explicitly everywhere on different brands, so that's why you see it in Korea often, mostly in all of Asia. So uh, we hope you enjoyed this cute session and we hope you find it informative. So we'll start out with our first BB cream. I think you guys remember seeing it in our in Today House uh, video, the second one. So it is the Precious, BB, uh, Precious Mineral BB Cream, and like we said before, it's for dry skin mainly because it's quite uh, moist and really kind of oily. Again, to show you guys this. And the, the tone is kind of dark, not too light. It says SPF 30. And it's pretty popular in Korea. I've never tried it. I tried it. It's not for my kind of skin. I have a combination skin, so I have oily spots like mostly my t-zone and then it has some dry spots around but um, yeah I I rather use one that's more for um, oily skin. Do you think it's good for winter or summer? Probably winter, winter because time? you know winter is like a dry really dry air so so that's sure going skin SPF 30 PA plus plus to the house. And I mixed it so you can't really see it blends pretty well. Mm -hmm. These products are um, some of our actually favorite and much used is the Skin 79 Super BB Cream. I actually read about this on the blog and um, it's really popular amongst like lots of bloggers. Yeah, bloggers. like I decided to get it um, online on the Skin 79 website. <laughs> Triple functions <laughs> It's whitening, it um, improves your wrinkles, and um, it has SPF 25. So those are the three uh, functions that they sort of highlight. And um, so it's a really great pump that you just push here, and once you pump it out... It's pretty hygienic because it's, it's like using this. a pump rather yeah. than like a squeeze. And I find this very efficient for me because I just wake up and pump some onto my hand and then just um, spread out. Um, I use my fingers to apply it onto my skin, so you can see it like this. Um, and Lena has sort of a method that she uses. You put it on your fingers and um, make sure your fingers are warm and you actually put it on like this and you're actually like blending. Oh, right, Lena? Because the warmth of your fingers kind of blend in the makeup better. Yeah. That was a good tip that I learned from Lena. And you can also put it on um, a stippling brush. Just put it on and it helps like really make a flawless look. And for this, so once you put it on, it looks a bit chalky at first. It looks really white and gray. It's a grayish tone to it when you first put it on. But after a while, it blends out with your skin tone. Once you blend it out really, really well, um, it starts looking much more natural with your skin tone. But so, it does make your skin a bit whiter because of the SPF and because it's for whitening. It's whitening, yeah, yeah. exactly. And there's a gold version of this BB cream. Uh, can you tell me what the difference is? I think the gold one is supposed to have caviar in it. Is that correct? Yeah. So it has abundant nutrient nutrition of gold and caviar extract that cares for the skin intensively to make shiny, healthy skin. <laughs> so for the Skin 79 BB creams, you can only get in one shade. So compared to like other ones, they can have one or two, but this one's only one shade. Yeah. I got actually these all this pack from Skin 79 website. Uh, it's a Korean website. If you can read Korean, then that's great. Uh, you can also get bonus packs. So 
Um, when I was buying this, I got the travel size BB cream and I also got some compact for free. So yeah, it's, it's worth it if you can find uh, bonus packs and you can actually find it on G Market or eBay. So another one uh, under the Skin to 79 line is the Shiny Pearl Water Drop BB cream. So this is what it looks like. So basically it's the same function as this one but it's more sheer. And it's more, um, the effect of it is more like watery, so mm -hmm. hence the word water drop. When you put it on, it's kind of like, kind of really wet and moist. Mm -hmm. And it says it's oil free here. Mm -hmm. And uh, to compare it to one that's really similar, there's one called the Leo Lally Water Drop BB uh, Aqua Makeup. It's really similar to this one. Can you put it on? The only difference, I think, is that this one, because it's a shiny pearl, it's because it uh, has lots of little glitter, like shiny pieces in it, and this one isn't. So, I just want to show you how it looks like. It's really whitening, like, the, t uh, the color is really light. Mm -hmm. It looks really, really light. Mm -hmm. um, it feels almost like it would, just like, I have a slight tan from the summer, yeah. so... <laughs> It just looks like maybe it can be more like a winter winter cream yeah. that you can use because it's moisturizing and it's light. Mostly you want to use it for the summer because it's really moist feeling mm -hmm. like water. But yeah, they're really similar. The only difference is this one's sparkly. And this one has no sparkles. Yeah, and they're both really sheer compared to this one. It's better coverage.